Hi there. Well, this is a new parcel that's just arrived from uh, China. I'm quite excited about this. Let's have a look inside. Bigger than I expected. This packaging. Well, you really can't complain about the uh, the packaging in there, can you? And there it is, uh, friendly arm and friendly arm. Take a look. This is the very latest uh, offering from this company. You will see information overlaid on the video. So what do you get in the package? Well, you get the new board in quite a pleasant case really you get a power supply which looks amazingly American unfortunately and a USB adapter now I say unfortunately because I just received a um, weather station with one of these American adapters on and despite saying 110 to 2 volt 40 volts it um, gave up five minutes after I uh, plugged it in so let's see what this says uh, this looks a bit DC 5 volts at 2 amps 100 to 240 volt 50 to 60 hertz that actually looks okay and it's uh, CE uh, if you believe that Right, it just so happens, there's the Bust American Power Supply, that I happen to have a simple uh, adapter for that. So, that's a micro uh, USB. Nothing special about that at all. And so there we have it. Let's see if we can uh, figure out how to open this up. I think this is the first time I've received a board already packaged up inside a case and uh, quite a substantial one by the look of it. Yeah, this comes the tricky part, I haven't got a clue what to do now. All four screws accounted for. Uh -huh. No. No idea. However, it looks like it might just come apart with a bit of encouragement. Is the board fastened to it? Yes, the board's actually fastened to the case as well. Well, I don't think we need to go into that. So. Let's have a look at what you've got. This is nice looking. That's a substantial heat sink. So we've got, um, I know that there are uh, two camera connectors on here. Let's see, we have Ethernet, two USBs, a standard HDMI, a standard three and a half inch for audio, which is always welcome, and a connector for power. I'll let the overlays on the um, the video tell you the rest. We'll have a look at, at the underside there. Quite a bit going on there. And amazingly, this is the first time I've seen one of these boards with a full-size SD card on rather than the uh, micro SDs, which is handy because I've got a whole load of full-size SDs which kind of go to waste because nobody else uses them. So there's a full-size SD on the underside. I wonder what um, 
made them do that ventilation slots so there there it is oh and there's a little button there on that side 